Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And today I wanted to show you how to set your iPod Touch or iPhone in DFU mode and also exit DFU mode without restoring. So I found myself stuck in DFU mode a few times and I've been forced to restore um, maybe like once because I didn't know how to exit out and it's really simple. Exiting out is 10 times easier than getting into actually. But getting into it is actually not too difficult. Um, all we're going to do is um, we're going to wait for iTunes to detect my iPod Touch, um, which it should be doing. And in the meantime, while I was doing that, I also want to give you a quick um, thing that if you want to restore back to 2.2.1 because you really dislike 3.0, then you can also do this. Go into the video description to your right, and there'll be a link for all the 2.2.1 downloads for um, the four devices. And um, just um, follow the steps that I'm about to show you. Um, I'd also like to show, um, tell you to please um, subscribe and comment and rate, obviously. But um, when you comment, comment below telling um, me and the rest of my viewers and subscribers if an app worked for you, if it didn't, and what troubles it gave you. That would be appreciated. So um, I just opened up my i um, I'm just opening up my iPod, so it'll show up on iTunes. And um, we're gonna do it. So uh, this is how it's gonna be. We're gonna um, set our iPod Touch in DFU mode first. So all we're gonna do is press the power button or the sleep button or whatever you want to call it, the physical button on the top, and the home button, which is the physical button on the bottom. And we're gonna hold those together for 10 seconds until iTunes, um, until it goes away in iTunes. And as soon as it goes away in iTunes, we're going to release the power button, but keep holding the home button. So I just wanted to show you that, because it's going to be hard for me to explain it while I'm doing it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I hold it down. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I'm going to start holding the home button. Three, four, five. We're going to keep holding the home button down until iTunes recognizes it. Seven. Eight, or I don't know where I am but okay and we heard that little noise which means iTunes also recognized it so now it our iPod touch screen should be blank and it's gonna come up with this dialogue in iTunes saying iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode or an iPhone um, whatever you have you must restore the iPod before it can be used with iTunes so we're just going to click OK, and if you want to res um, restore back to 2.1, 2.2.1, all you're going to do is press, press the shift button right here, and you're going to left click at the same time on restore. So I'm going to do that real quick, I'm going to put the camera down again, it's the shift button, and the left click on restore at the same time, so shift, and I left clicked on restore. And it comes up with this dialog asking us to browse for the firmware we want. You're going to locate wherever you downloaded that 2.2.1 firmware, easiest on the desktop, and you just click open, and it will restore. And you'll be back on 2.2.1, and then you can go into the link, um, you can go to the link in the description that shows you how to jailbreak that, that'll be in the video description, and you can jailbreak your 2.2.1 device. Um, as for exiting DFU mode, easy, easy, easy. We're going to put the camera down, and we're just going to keep holding the home button. Sorry, guys, we can't see that's the light. Um, we're going to keep holding the home button down. The home button and the power button together until our iPod shows our um, Apple logo. So, ready? There's no set time to this. You're just going to keep holding it until um, it comes up. All right, it's gone in iTunes now. And we're going to keep holding it down until um, we see that Apple logo. And now we can release. And our iPod Touch or iPhone will boot up in its regular mode. Um, so you don't have to restore, and we got out of DFU mode. Um, but if you didn't want to get out of DFU mode, and you wanted to downgrade back to 2.2.1, I showed you how to do that as well. So guys, um, I'm just going to wait for it to uh, boot up because some people 
don't like trust they say oh you never showed us how to um if it actually worked so i'm just gonna wait for it to um load up and i hope you guys uh, i hope app sync uh 3.0 worked for you guys it's the new mobile installation i hope that worked for you guys and you could um sync your cracked apps um if they do crash and that game is not suitable for 3.0 um most probably it'll be updated but if you have the cracked app version it won't update it automatically for you you have to go back and download the latest version from any link. Um, so, yeah, guys, um, hopefully it won't crash. But if it does, then you probably don't have the latest version. But as soon as I updated the 3.0, a lot of my apps had updates. I'm not sure if that's by coincidence or I don't know. But um, I've, all my apps have been working for me that I've gotten from the App Store, cracked or bought. Um, so now we're just going to wait for it to load up. It'll load up with our um, lock screen, hopefully. And there you go, guys. Um, we just unlock, and it's in normal state. Um, so have fun with that, guys. Um, if you want to restore or your iPod touches brick, just set it in DFU mode and restore it to whatever, firm, whatever firmware you want. And if you're not bricked and you're on 3.0 and you want to restore back to 2.2.1, then it's easy as that. Um, just restore to 2.2.1. Um, this is iPod Touch for Life 165 here. Please subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you guys later.